Hello my SOC universe. For a slightly different perspective this time around, I'm not sitting, I decided this video I'm gonna do standing and it is one of, with also, uh, you know, not only standing, but I also switched around so it's basically half my very old set that I had like two years ago where you only saw this wall with the window and the shirts hanging here. Um, now then in COVID times I switched over, yeah, let's have it 90 degrees and we have here and now this is what you've been seeing as of late i think most of you have not seen that i used to have this that's why i hung here all the scarves and it looks actually quite nice i am contemplating uh, for some select videos to go back on to this side but you know i am very happy with my overall setup here so but you know maybe switch it around a little bit uh I have been planning, it's not what I'm doing now, I have been planning actually to give you a little bit tour of my uh, office slash studio here, but that's not what this is about. I'm gonna do another jersey maintenance sort of video, first time wearing actually, not only on this channel, but ever, my new Levski shirt, uh, which now happened while doing the switch over to the international break and you will uh, you will have seen that I have now a little bit of trouble that I, when you saw my unpacking of my new Denmark shirt, that I have two types of hangers. And I show you, maybe I'll take those two here. Um, my, I initially had, I mean, these, these are the oldest hangers. The oldest hangers are still from America, but I got rid of them. But um, I think when we moved to Austria, I bought these types of hangers from IKEA uh, where I had roughly 50 of and I actually really like, like them. They came in black, they came in white, so a little bit of variety. They were flat, but uh, not too flat. So I like flat hangers. My jerseys are hanging. I have, I had them once in storage. Uh, this was a long time ago where I folded some of them and especially with the prints and i remembered my black totti shirt the print came off and then since it got compressed it actually left the stain on the other side and uh, i think i one day spent an hour with some rubbing alcohol getting that out of there and ever since this number doesn't look quite all right anymore but you know it's still very much vi vi visible and then I had like, uh, it was still in America, I finally got an apartment with my own closet and I decided, yeah, I have so much space now, I actually can hang my, all my jerseys and I've been hanging them ever since. I think there was only a very short period in when we were living in Vienna when I didn't do that, but as soon as we had more space, I decided again, we need to hang the jerseys because that's the only way that they will stay nice. And I have a wardrobe and I have a rail here, but that's, Going back to the topic of the video. So I had these hangers and then I think it was three or four year, years ago that Ikea stopped producing those. And then they came out with these. And now they are not very compatible in many ways because you see those have this dent here. These have the uh, nice and if I hold them uh, the shirts are hanging even very differently and I like the uniformity. So um, once I reached a certain number, I decided, okay, I need to put some order. And in the end I decided, okay, let's put all my national team shirts on these hangers. And then the club shirts on these. Um, that was a one point a decision that, that I made. I think before that I even had, I think I had only the Milan and the Lusk shirts on these hangers and all the others on the others. But then, you know, as jerseys get added, uh, these hangers took over. Now, turns out I have exactly 50 of the ones for the national teams. And meanwhile, I have a na uh, for, 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 for national teams. Then as the national team collection grew, I actually said, okay, all the European national teams will have this, uh, the special hangers and all the others get the standard hangers. Now, I am in trouble. With this Denmark shirt and the Bulgaria shirt, I think I'm now officially on 51 European national team shirts. 
And I had to make the hard call. Do I figure out now another way how I distribute the 50 hangers or do I just get new ones? And I was recently at IKEA and a pack of 10 of these costs one euro. That was an easy decision. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rehang all my European national team jerseys onto the new type of hangers. And you can watch me doing so and at the same time uh, you, you will see some of my Nas European national team shirts as well, so it basically doubles up as sort of a yeah. Here are my European national team um, jer jerseys. If it gets very monotonous, I will kind of skip a little bit forward to make the video not too long. I expect this operation to last for about half an hour. I don't want to make this in half hour video. So I would say let's get started now. How do I store my jerseys? Um, this is the other thing. Uh, not only um, the, yeah, I'm hanging them, but how am I hang, hang them? Very, very boringly. I have sorted them, all the European national teams, by country alphabetically in English, not even German. And within those I have the uh, oldest one first and the youngest one last. So uh, this is half my collection. I have a bunch of Africa teams here. I decided to put my African teams only for this video up there. Um, and then I have also South American section, I have not really an Asian section, it's one Australia shirt and I have one North American section, but that is a topic for another video. So, I would say let's get started. Now, this is my most damaged Austria jersey. I got this for uh, the Euros and I made a video how I fixed it. It just didn't work. I have, I know, I now have the idea. I got it from Idris. I should turn it inside out. It's of course with the big jersey file, but it's the logos that uh, come, uh, are coming off and the lettering is not the official lettering. I, this is one that is a prime candidate for getting replaced because I don't necessarily need it with my name and number on there. Now my go-to jersey when I go into the stadium, at least the last time I was, and this was in 2014, has been a while, has been a while. Euro qualifying, but I have been going when I was living in Vienna, I was going regularly. It's this one here from 1213. I bought it actually for the Austria-Sweden match in the 2014 World Cup qualifiers. Um, love it. I mean, this is a really nice one, I have to say. My first Bulgaria shirt has a similar issue with the Pumas. Uh, the funny thing is that I think it was my first beach vacation in Bulgaria. I was like, just got married to my wife. And if you know me, I have either white skin or red skin. And so again, I burnt very, very quickly. And then for the rest of the time, I was going to the sea wearing this jersey. So this is Black Sea Christian, if you like. It's just so classic, 66 inspired, had to be just this. Did I hang this now wrong? Of course I did. That's the other thing, if you hang, if you put the hangers, make sure they all hang the same direction because otherwise it gets a mess. one is hanging here 
this will now get a new hanger. This hangs on the wall right where the camera is. I also have the 2000 one, but I can tell you a little secret. I sent it to a fellow collector who said he can have it fixed for me because the number for the sedan was a little bit broken. So yeah, I'm quite, I'm curious if and how this can be fixed, but I am very willing. I was very willing to try that. gotta say for a modern look this could very well be the modern Germany I, I I hated it when I first saw it and then the more I think about it I actually think this would be such a strong look um, because you know the Germany look although it's black and white it's not that great of an overall look work otherwise I have a few stairs over there as well but I think this will work just fine my other problem to be honest is that I am slowly slowly running out of space for hanging jerseys properly I think the next point is I have three or four three suits and most of them I don't even wear so I'm thinking of selling a few because that will open up a whole lot of space only one shirt and this is another blue one that I'm very happy that I have it. Liechtenstein got it last year. Uh, as I'm recording it's pretty much year to the day that I got this one. I want to say I love it. I have a Liechtenstein shirt. Bought it in Liechtenstein. Directly below this castle that's on the shirt. So uh, doesn't get better than that. year for the Dutch national team however they came out with this black beauty I think the current one I like even better but I remember my wife saying when she said oh sexy of course I was getting this one of course I was getting this one after she said that I mean I had her already hooked uh, I might get a little bit tight or maybe need to get another few hangers maybe let me do that uh, another package one two three four five six seven eight nine left ah I don't have enough hangers I'm getting a crisis right here I'm I'm going into crisis mode <laughs> I think I have one more here but that was actually Valeski I need to go to IKEA to get more hangers I need to get to IKEA get more hangers it's not that's not good. I did not count right. I'm a statistician. In any case, well, at least I can rehang here now every shirt that I have and then we'll think about 
what I'm gonna do with other shirts that I have. Of course I have my number on there, my name and number. Stupid me. I so much wish I would have gotten a proper player, but you know back, back then I thought oh they don't have many pro proper players. Well, two years later they were all superstars. Turkey, honestly, best Turkey shirt in the past. Ever since since the fall, it's my favorite Turkey shirt. Uh, has been featured also in what was the name? You know, they, they made a magazine and they asked me, and I said I'm gonna take this Turkey shirt because it's so beautiful. <laughs> national teams now on the same hooks but I'm running out of hangers that is not good that is not good so I have to think I have to probably run to go to Ikea this week and get another set of 10 hangers and that will be it for this year if I run out of hangers I cannot buy any more shirts but I'm anyway running out of budget for the year and we'll see what we'll do next year so but you're a winner. Have you had ever such a problem with getting your shirts on? Uh, do you hang your shirts on the same hangers or do you have di di a difference? Well, I would be very curious to hear about that. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me, let me know what you thought about all these shirts here. Um, and yeah, if you have any other suggestions, I would be happy to hear. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day.